Ted Cruz, a member of both the Senate Foreign Relations Committee and the Senate Judiciary Committee. Senator, it's always a pleasure. Thanks so much for joining me. Good morning, Maria. Thanks for having me. So let's start with the debt uh, bill, because we've got lots to talk to you about this morning. What happens to this bill, which passed in the House, when it reaches the Senate? Well, it'll be up to Chuck Schumer whether to bring it up for a vote. I don't know if Schumer's going to or not. Uh, you know, I got to say, I, I want to commend the House Republicans. They have demonstrated bold leadership. They brought the conference together. It wasn't easy. There are lots of different factions. They have a very narrow majority in the House, and yet the House came together. House conservatives played an act role in drafting this bill, and this bill takes major steps to reining in spending. It takes major steps to reining in the regulations that are killing jobs across this country. It takes major steps to getting people back to work. This bill is an exercise in being responsible. And Maria, I gotta say, the contrast could not be starker. The Republicans in the House are responsible, and Joe Biden, what is he saying? He's saying, I will not talk, I will not negotiate, I will not give in on anything, anyhow, any way. And what is happening is Joe Biden is gambling. Joe Biden needs to stop playing roulette with the American economy and with the Ameri American credit limit. What is happening here, there, there is one person on planet Earth that can ensure we will never, ever, ever have a default. That person's name is Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. Why is that? Because every month, the federal government takes in more in tax revenue than we have in expenditures, which means we can always service our debt. And here's what a responsible president would say. Joe Biden would look at the TV camera and say, America will never default on our debt. We will always pay the interest on the debt. You can count on that. But he doesn't want to say that. Why? Because he wants to fear longer. He wants to scare the equity markets. He wants to scare the bond markets. And what he is doing right now is wildly irresponsible. But what about Senate Republicans? Do you feel that Senate Republicans are united? I mean, what what happens when this issue comes to the Senate and you've got to have some uh, agreement? Oh, listen, at, at some level, unfortunately, Senate Republicans are never united. There, there, there are 49 Senate Republicans and 52 points of view. That's, that's just the nature of the Senate. That being said, I think what we ought to be doing in the Senate is we ought to be standing up and backing up the House Republicans. The House are in leadership right now, and Senate Republicans should stand shoulder to shoulder with the House and say, Joe Biden, come to the tip table. Chuck Schumer has already said this bill is DOA, dead on arrival. He, he, he doesn't want to consider it. No Democrat other than Joe Manchin, who's facing a very tough reelect and is suddenly listening to his voters. Other than Joe Manchin, no Democrat has any interest in passing this bill. And I'm going to tell you a simple, practical reality. Biden is saying we must have a clean debt ceiling. Kevin McCarthy cannot pass a clean debt ceiling. The votes are not there. That's not going to happen, which means Biden is wasting everyone's time with this brinksmanship. And, and you know who, who bears a big part of the fault of that? The corrupt corporate media, because Biden is counting on, even if he fear mongers, takes us to the edge of the cliff, even if Biden drives us over the cliff like Thelma and Louise with, with a handkerchief on his hair, he's quite confident the media will happily blame Republicans, and it's why he's being so reckless with your economic future and with mine.